our last episode, Prickle, the world's only living dinosaur, narrowly escaped being caught by the world's nastiest scientist, Dr. Zvigi, who has vowed to capture Prickle for his own sinister purposes. Our story begins at the apartment of a famous piano player who has no idea that he lives directly next door to the secret laboratory of Dr. Zvigi. since it will have me daffy without the noise. Oh, can I concentrate on my work with that constant racket? Doesn't he ever stop? Wait, what's that? Beautiful silence. He must have gone out for lunch. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> While he's out, I'll get rid of that piano. I'll pretend I'm him. <laughs> Gumby Piano Moving Company. Gumby speaking. Hello, this is Paul Plonk at 44 Foxtrot Terrace. Could you move my piano this afternoon? Sure thing. Where to? Oh, just give it to someone who needs it. I'm tired of music. Okay, we'll be right over. <laughs> They'll take his piano, and he won't even know what has happened. <laughs> That's a pretty small door, Gumby. Yeah. I wonder how we got a piano in there. Never mind that. How do we get it out? The door should be much wider. That's it. We'll make it wider. <laughs> There! That should do it. It looks wide enough now. Hey, I know how we can make this job easier. We can tie a rope to the piano and pull it out with the truck. Swell! I'll drive. Those movers should be here by now. I'll just peek out the door. The rope's tied on, Gumby. Sleep. Look at that. There's that dinosaur I've been trying to catch. Okay, Pokey. Take it away. Roger. Now's my chance. Look out, Prickle. <laughs> My piano! Who are you? I am Paul Plunk. So he's the one who started all this. Yep. He almost got away with it, too. His mistake was trying to catch Prickle. Bah! There you are. Fixed as good as new. Thanks, fellas. Well, we better get back to our piano moving. Oh, no. Not me. Huh? I've had enough piano moving. Besides, I can't even read music. <laughs> <laughs>